Hi, I'm Bernard, and today we're going to talk about getting that perfect color match with hair extensions. One of the biggest problems in matching color is that most hair extension clients' hair does not match the extension color. You need to use multiple colors and we'll cover that today. Some of the tools you're going to need are the color ring, a fine tooth comb, and good lighting. So with extensions, when we do color matching, you don't match like you do with color. When we're coloring someone's hair, we're going to match near the scalp usually to get this color hair. But if you'll notice, most of your clients have a little bit different color from scalp to ends. And the top row of extensions, maybe in the head, somewhere around this area, is not going to be revealed until we get closer to the ends of the hair. And the ends are what are going to match or blend with that first row of extensions. So if you'll notice, her ends are just a little bit lighter than her scalp color. So that's what we're going to focus on, on blending this color. So the first thing I do is I take the color ring, which has a lot of different colors on it, and I do a process of elimination. Instead of trying to figure out exactly what color she is, let's figure out what colors she's not first. So we'll quickly hold this up, and of course we're going to focus on the ends in just a second. I'll take out the majority of these colors, and I'll find, I know she's a little bit on the dark side, so I'll take out all the colors that she's not, start to hold them up here. I know she's not black, I know she's not this light brown, I'll get down to these last two and I say, you know what, looks like she is closer to this color number four. But the cuticle layer on the color ring, because it's 100% human hair also, goes in this down direction. You want to make sure you don't match color upside down like I've seen so many stylists do. So what I'll do is hold the color ring with the cuticle going down just like her hair does. And then because light is going to reflect off of her hair and the swatch differently, I want to comb the two together, fan out just a little bit of the hair and blend the two together. So as I blend the two together and put a comb on there, it'll make the light shine the same on all the strands of hair to see if the match is just right. And I believe this is just right. But I won't stop there. I'll use a few strands a little bit lighter and a little bit darker to get a more perfect color match. So when ordering, our hair comes in packs of 10. We did that so that you can get multiple colors easily. And I'll put a little example together right here. We have a hair comb rack that holds many, many strands for assisting and doing a full head of extensions. So what I did here is I took Abby's color, which is these whole brown pieces, and took a couple of blonde pieces and cut them in half here. So this blonde and this blonde are half strands. And then in this example, I took that same couple of blonde pieces, or actually one blonde piece, and trimmed it in thirds to make it a little smaller. Now in this example, the blonde is every third piece. Two browns, half a blonde, two browns, half a blonde. In this example, two browns, a third of a blonde, two browns, a third of a blonde. You can trim them down as small as you like, leave them as big as you want, put them every second, third, or fourth piece. But the most important thing about this is that you get that color match right and try something new. Do your top row of extensions first because that's the row that matters the most for your color blend. Hope that helps you guys.